I did not expect to find these. You're kidding. That's crazy. Thanks so much for tuning in today, guys. We start things off with a sneaker collection fund of $49.35. Good news is, though, we did actually end up selling some sneakers. But before we get into the thrifting, this. So I'm gonna cut in really quickly because I used to have a sponsor here, but they pulled out. So instead, I'm gonna promote something else, and that is Takeout NY. And the reason I'm promoting Takeout NY is because they're actually the very first place to stock Apothecary socks in store. It's crazy. Three locations, this one in the Bronx, and the other one somewhere else. <laughs> but if you're in New York, stop I'll make sure by. A little thing right there. Stop know by, take out. It's a really cool store. They've got literally every sneaker release. They've got all the dunks. They got the SB Air Jordan 4s coming out this weekend. So guys, make sure to check out Take Out NY. Grab some Apothecary socks. Let them know that I sent you. They like do all like Apothecary. But with that being said, back to the regular video. Good news is we sold some sneakers over the weekend, so we're gonna have more than $50 to play with this week, which is always a good thing. So the first thing that we sold were the Nike Air Max 1s that we picked up from Buffalo Exchange a couple weeks back for 23 bucks. We ended up selling them on eBay for $75, and after fees, we were left with $69 to add back into the sneaker collection fund, which means that we had a net profit of 46 bucks. That pair of shoes was awesome. I wish it was in my size because I love that shoe, I love that colorway. I think it might have been a women's only release, but I'm not 100% sure. Either way, it was fire, and I'm actually surprised to took as long as it did to sell. And then the second pair that we sold were the Asics Gel Light 3s that we grabbed from Plato's Closet for $15. So we sold those for $42 on eBay and after fees we were left with $38.42. Which means we had a net profit of $23.64. So after both of those sales we ended up with a new sneaker collection fund of $156.99. Okay, so, right off the bat, that's crazy. I did not expect to find these. Wow, how much? $7.99? They're definitely, definitely beat. But I don't know, for $7.99, that's a really good price. So the tread is completely worn off. I mean, there's a hole through the front of the toe of the sneaker. That's such a bummer because it's such a dope shoe for such a crazy price. But even for $7.99, this isn't worth it. You'd have to do a complete sole swap. Ah, that's too bad. Next up, we've got some some Nikes right here. We've got a Lunar Lawn midsole. Looks like the outsole is pretty chewed through for 10 bucks. So. Gonna leave that. Anytime there's outsole wear, I like to leave it. Let's see what else we've got. We've got some Nike Pegasus for 10 bucks. Really good condition, but Pegasus don't really move. Got some KDs. Pretty decent condition, but 30 bucks is too much for these, unfortunately. But good looking shoe. You need some new ball shoes. Got some AF1s. Interesting colorway for 10 bucks. Not bad, no laces though. Means I'd have to buy laces for that, which is like 34 bucks. Teens. Ooh, got some ones. You can't see the price, but they look like they're in really good shape. No one sold in the 14s, so leaving those, but the ones still look really good. <sighs> so unfortunately, someone was already waiting for the case to get the ones, and uh, they beat me, so I didn't get them. I don't even know how much they were going for, but <sighs> kind of a bummer. Wish I'd gotten there a little bit sooner. I was planning to get here sooner. It's like 10 o'clock in the morning. I was planning to get here at nine right when they open. I would have caught them, but uh, I didn't. I didn't get here on time, so I just missed out. The guy got me, so it is what it is. It happens sometimes. Didn't find anything here, but we're going to Plato's and then Goodwill, and hopefully we'll find something there. So let's see. You're kidding. That's crazy. There's no way this is real. Is this real? These might be real. I can't believe this. What? <laughs> That's crazy. Oh my goodness, there's no price on these. So if you guys didn't know, these are the Pharrell Human Race NMDs. These are the, um, I think the Holy colorway, and uh, there's no price, but I'm definitely gonna grab these, 100%, because even if they're not legit, we can return them. And I guess even depending on price, like, I don't know what these go for now, but here, let's check the price, actually. <laughs> so that's actually hilarious, I didn't even realize. But it says Ultra Boost on the tag inside the shoe, and then I searched it on eBay, and an Ultra Boost popped up. So there's no way these are legit. Um, I guess I should've known by the feel of the material, but I mean, they don't feel that off but that's hilarious. You know what, let me just double check that the real ones don't have, they feel light too. Actually, now that I'm holding them, super, super light. Let me just double check that the real ones don't have the Ultra Boost tags. I know that's stupid to say, but just to make sure, because I don't want to miss out on a deal, but I'm sure they don't, so. Well, I couldn't find a picture of the tag, but the color of the outsole is wrong. It's not a gum outsole, it's like a that color outsole. So, just all around, not real. But kind of an exciting find for a couple minutes. Hold up. <laughs> oh man, we got some tens, the kids tens. Depending on the price, these might be worth it. Hold on. This is crazy, four and a half wide, so definitely smaller. 
These are 35 bucks. I think that's probably what they go for on eBay, but they're in really good condition, so let's check them out. Uh, so yeah, based on listings, probably not worth it. They're going for exactly what they're selling for here. I do have a discount code here, like a couple percent off just for loyalty points, but I just don't think that's a super quick seller, so it's probably not worth it. good today hasn't been so far that pun sucked I, I didn't even know that was supposed to be a joke wow we got some new carmelos or newish carmelo size nine but 200 bucks good on those got some Kyrie ones from back in the day in the duke colorway got some kids kds i've never seen these before and then also some sock darts in beat condition but still no insole no price oh wait six bucks better than usual but not anything worth picking up so it is what it is got some guys i don't even know what those are the echo boosts again some vans Ooh, some jordan fives these are the uh what the fives i think 55 Ooh. That is probably right on the money. So these might actually be a grab for 55, especially in this condition. I think I'm gonna grab them size eight men's. Looks like up here in the women's section, we got some car mines for 65. Let me check these guys out. This is an iffy one, I think I'm gonna leave it. ones and an interesting infrared colorway so i forget what these are called but they're the jordan i don't remember it but they didn't take off no one really liked them and i understand why how much are they asking 30 bucks yeah it seems about right so just found these bc3s behind the counter for 70 that is not bad i'm definitely grabbing these size nine to my size crazy all right so that spot was dope we picked up some really good stuff and shout out to sam for watching the channel really appreciate you but yeah buffalo exchange in center city is always the move it's always the move Got a lot of the same stuff that I saw last week, but we do have some new stuff like some uh, easy basketballs or knit basketballs. Got some fly net ones. Got the tens that we saw last week. At least I think they're the same ones. Got some twelves. Nothing crazy on this wall. Oh wait, no, these three's been here for a minute. I did just see some Kobe's down here though. Just kind of performance models. Nothing crazy. They are worn. I'll check them out, but I don't think it's gonna be worth the seventy. Yeah, not worth it. Again, a lot of the same stuff in the women's section. Got some more infrareds. Got these gold toes again. And then these threes. I forget what threes these are. Let me know in the comment section down below. If you guys know, I'm sure you guys know. I'm sure just, I don't remember the name, but I don't think they're really worth anything. Got these uh, Converses, which are wild. Galaxy Converses. Very ugly. On for today, we've got the uh, Certified Lover Boys. That's the fit. There you go, Apothecary Sample Shirt. Bunch of Joe Fresh goods, 993s in the 9060s. Love this colorway. This is actually a really solid price. Some more Joe Fresh goods, some ones, some Royals, 299 size nine. All right, so nothing at Second Street, but I am gonna hit up Laps Under Hammer because there's a personal pickup that I want to try and grab if they still have it. It's been two days though, so they probably don't. But uh, what the check? They got them. I'm gonna grab them. Have the yellow ones too. And the playoffs. And the undefeateds too. That's crazy. Got them. Secured. Actually, the only spot in the city that had them, which is crazy. The Laps and Hammer is the spot. Love it. So guys, just to kind of give you a heads up because I'm thinking about it right now. As a thank you guys for being so supportive of the channel and also Apothecary as a whole, the thing that I'm probably most proud of is Apothecary. I'm, I'm really stoked on, on the brand and everything we've created. And I just want to thank you guys so much for the support that you guys have shown. And in sort of a small way of thanking you guys, what we're going to be doing is actually running a 48-hour flash discount using code FLASH20 where you can get 20% off things like the Apothecary Script hoodie and also the Apothecary Sneaker Heaven hoodie. The Apothecary Script hoodie is great for the spring and summer. It's made of 
lightweight material. The Sneaker Heaven hoodie is an awesome zip up. So if you guys want to check this out, the code will be live for the next 48 hours from the time that this video went live, flash 20. And uh, that's it. Once it's over, it's over. So again, seriously, thank you guys so much for the support. If you guys want to grab these hoodies, make sure to click the link in the description below to apothecary.com and use code flash 20 at checkout. Okay, so I'm pulling up to the apothecary office to get some work done. And I wanted to show everyone the pickups that I had, get their opinions, see what they thought. Also, we have an apothecary YouTube channel. If you guys want to check that out, there will be a link in the description below. It's a blast. You can film a lot of cool stuff. It's like a behind the scenes of the office. But here's the apothecary office if you haven't seen it yet. And uh, yeah, let me get you guys' opinions on these shoes. So I've got a couple sets of shoes to show you. The first set is I've got some pickups from Buffalo Exchange. I want to get you guys' thoughts on them. You don't have to touch them because I know they're gross, but check them out. Do you guys think these are good prices? I got the Black Cement 3s for 75 the new one. Dear God, those shoes are ugly. I know, bro. Just say something nice. But they're so ugly and he overpaid. Hey, bro, we want to make him look good to his audience. All right, we do it for the team. And then the uh, top threes, top three fives. That looks awful. Well, I'm yeah. a huge fives fan, but... Yeah, me neither. For 55, sounds like a pretty good deal. And they look like they're in good condition. condition. But then, the other pair that I wanted to ask you guys about. So this, yeah, I don't even, I don't I'd love to get your guys' reactions oh. to them. Oh, it's the Green Air shoes. Yeah. They just came out? They just dropped, yeah. Oh. They only dropped at Lapstone. Oh, for real? Yeah. Oh. It's, they just got a restock, too. They have all sizes. I really like the color. They're sick, right? These are the band, right? Or no? They, yeah, that was the shoe that was banned, yeah, 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 the black and reds. So it turns out it's not a Hidden collab, it's just a, so Hidden apparently announced that they were dropping them and like put his logo on the image, but then it, it was just like a regular release, which is kind of weird. All right, we do it for the team. All right, ooh, scratch my, oh crap, I scratched myself. Oh, I really got myself, oof. That, that's a, that's a pretty serious cut, actually. Ow! Keeping it going. Okay, so the reason I wanted to bring out the clock to show you guys is because one of the sneakers that we picked up could technically go on the clock. And uh, I guess you guys probably already know what it is because you saw the rest of the video. But really quick, let me show you some of the other sneakers that we picked up and then we'll talk about the situation that I'm having. And I'm not just talking about my leg. I literally, I really did. Uh, well, here's a way I can show you. Uh, hold on. Can you guys... This is dumb. I really shouldn't have done this. Take that all out. I regret all that. But before we get into the problem at hand, I first want to show you guys what we picked up. And the first thing that we grabbed is not technically part of the series because I use my own personal funds for it and it's a personal pickup. I just wanted to show you guys because you guys saw this segment in the video where the Nike Airships in the forest green, I think they're the forest green, uh, pine green, pine green colorway. I've never actually done a full video on the airships before. I got the orange pair a while back, also at Lapson and Hammer. Um, Nike, for some reason, is re-releasing this shoe in a bunch of different, like, basic white and color colorways. So you have the white and orange, the white and yellow, the white and red, and then the white and green, obviously. And I think there's a white and purple that either came out or is coming out. But this shoe is really, really clean. When we first heard about this shoe, I think people thought it was a Hidden collab because Hidden actually posted this on their Instagram, but it's not. It's just the standard colorway of the shoe. And apparently the only place or one of the only places in Philadelphia to get these was Lapson and Hammer. So it was a super, super limited release. And if you guys don't know, the Airship is the shoe that Michael Jordan wore before the Air Jordan 1 came out. So this is a shoe that he was wearing in 84 and then he got the Air Jordan 1 in 85. This was also the shoe that the band colorway happened on, that black and red colorway. It was not on a pair of Air Jordan 1s, it was on a pair of Airships. However, the Airships look a lot like the Air Jordan 1s. So I can definitely understand the confusion and it makes sense why Nike was trying to do that whole marketing gimmick where they told you it was a band one instead of a band airship because they don't sell airships. Whole big thing, but regardless, super clean colorway. It comes with a green set of laces. I love this shoe. I like this way better than the orange pair. Nothing wrong with the orange pair, but I just don't have a lot of green shoes and this shoe is just super clean. So I'm excited to rock it and I love that there's so much history behind this shoe. History that a lot of people don't know. So very cool sneaker, stoked to have these and I forget what I paid for them, but probably more than I should have. But they're so ugly and you overpaid. But getting into the next pickup that we had, the first shoe that we grabbed was the Air Jordan 5 Top 3s. We grabbed these at Buffalo Exchange for $55, I believe. I think I can sell these for, I don't know, 70 to 80 is the hope. Maybe 100 if we're lucky, but probably closer to 70 or 80. Really nice condition shoe. It's worn, but not too worn. There's not a lot of heel drag, not a lot of toe wear. I can clean up the bottom with some rejuvenator or whatever cleaning solution I'm going to use. Um, there's still some Nike on the sock liner of the shoe or insole of the shoe, but that's about it. I mean, it's a good looking shoe. It's not the most popular Air Jordan 5, but I do think it will sell. And for 55 bucks, it was worth the gamble. It's an expensive gamble in terms of the money that we're playing with, but um, I don't know. I think it'll, I think it'll pay off. So excited about this pickup. But then of course we have the big pickup of the day and I'm really mad that I didn't capture more of the moment of me seeing these shoes. They had like this cart of shoes that they hadn't, I guess, priced yet or put tags on or whatever. And this shoe was in there. I wish I had filmed it or taken a picture of it. I might have. I don't, 
I don't remember for sure, but either way, wish I had more footage of this. But these are the Black Cement 3s, one of the original Air Jordan 3 colorways, my favorite colorway of the Air Jordan 3. Of course, they've got the uh, Nike Air branding on the heel, so they're the 2018 re-release of the shoe. And the reason this is so exciting, obviously we paid 75 bucks for these, so I could probably sell these for what? Like at least 120. Um, they do have some pretty heavy toe drag, which I'm noticing now, and some heel drag, but other than that, in really good condition. The reason this is such a, a quandary that I'm having, <laughs> That's a dictionary word if I've ever heard one. Um, the reason, oh no, the eight is in the nine spot. There we go. <laughs> The reason this is such a problem is because this shoe could go on the clock and I like this shoe better than the Fire Red 3s. So what I might do is I might replace the Fire Red 3s with these Air Jordan 3s. However, I think I could sell the Black Cement 3s for more than I can sell the Fire Red 3s for. So if I do put the Black Cement 3s on the clock, we're not gonna make as much money from this pickup as we would have if we had sold these shoes and kept these. So I think what I'm gonna do is put these both temporarily on the clock. They don't really fit, there we go. That looks awful. And list them both on eBay and just see which one sells first. The White Cement 3s do fit better, like color scheme wise, on the clock than the Black Cement 3s. Can you guys even see that? You guys can't even see that. Oh no, okay, hold on. There we go. Obviously, I think just history wise and colorway wise, I prefer the Black Cement 3s. They're just a cooler shoe in my opinion. My favorite pair of Air Jordan 3s, so I personally would prefer them to be on the clock because of what they are. However, colorway wise, I think the Fire Red 3s do match the clock aesthetic better. Bro, this guy is talking so much. I know, bro, just stick it out. We're almost done. Hurry up and get to the point. Or you know what else I'll do? Maybe, actually, I might actually just ask you guys in the comment section down below which shoe you guys like better because I really have no idea. And I'm gonna read through the comments. Well, either I'm gonna pick a winner based on comments or I'm gonna pick a winner based on which one sells first. But this is genuinely the kind of situation because if I found the Black Cement 3s first, I would put them on the clock and left them on the clock and not even worry about the Fire Red 3s. I think that's some joke. But uh, now that I have the Fire Red 3s on there, it's just so nice. I don't know. I really have no idea what to do. Uh, get to the point! Hey, at this point, I guess we'll round off the video. Thank you all so much for watching. The new sneaker collection fund to end off the week is $26.99, which again, puts us in kind of a precarious position in terms of sneaker collection fund. However, we do have two pairs of sneakers, which I do think will sell for decent profit, so I'm not too worried about it, but it's still not a great number to have at the end of the week. But at this point, if you guys wanna check out some of the other videos on my channel, like some of my other thrifting videos or outlet videos, or maybe even sneaker reviews, make sure to click the links somewhere on your screen. And with that being said, I'll see you all in the next one.